Hello, this is your instructor, Emily Seal, here to talk to you today about a little bit kind of how our semester is going to be set up. Um, I don't know how many of you have taken a hybrid course before, so I just want to start today by kind of defining what is a hybrid is. Hopefully when you signed up for the course you noticed that it was a hybrid or you had a good advisor there to talk to you about um, what a hybrid is. Basically half of the content is online specifically in my course you'll listen to these online lectures that I give and then when you come to class in speech class you'll be giving a speech there's five speeches in all um, your first speech you'll notice is a humorous anecdote so you'll just tell me the same kind of story you might tell at a party something that happened to you one time maybe it's a scar story about a funny time that you got hurt or a quirky time it doesn't have to be laugh out loud funny um, but we just ask that you keep it light keep the experience light since it is our first time meeting you. So maybe you want to tell me about what happened to you while you were in London or um, how you broke your arm or you know the first time you tried to drive any sort of little short story with a beginning middle and end but you can read more about that in D2L and in the next video. Your on class hours will be Monday from 925 to 1040. Mondays on Monday mornings. That's be the, that will be the time that we meet in class. So the online component, the time that we are working together um, on the curriculum, the the part of the class that I'll be doing all online will be in the computer program Desire to Learn which you may already be familiar with if you're a returning Montlove student. If you're not, let's take a moment just to look at it. This is screen capture of what my screen is here. There's my picture there. This is my crazy family. Um, you can see here uh, I'm in desire to learn. Actually, let me show you how to get there. So if you go to Motlow's website, then you click on Quick Links. You can see down here we have RODP. Now if you have an online course, it may be an RODP class, which you'll have an email in your regular email about that. But if this is D2L right here, when I click on that, then it'll bring me to this and I'll have to log in. And then we'll see this lovely screen right here. So you'll want to go to course content. In course content is where you'll find links to the videos and such. In this discussions tab right here, in discussions is where you'll post uh, get to know you. Now I will not mark your attendance as present until I see that get to know you discussion board. Um, there's nine questions. They're the inside the actor studio questions if you're um, a Bravo fan. And um, there's two truths and a lie. So you'll tell us three things about yourself and we'll try to guess which one is the lie. Here we have Dropbox, that's where you'll submit your papers. Assessments or quizzes, usually for each module you'll have one 10 question quiz, so you'll want to check those on a weekly basis. And then um, the quiz grades will show up here in grades, right? And then you can, I don't know if you have class list or not, but that's kind of the rundown of D2L. It is a confusing interface, so I challenge you to um, go ahead and jump in full head on and um, start working on that. So just to review, um, there is an online component to this class. Half of the work is online. You, we only meet one day a week. Now most classes meet twice a week. So it's half of the time in class, but then the other half of that is an online class. So if one day you have a flat tire or you're sick, you can feel free to stay home and not bother to email me because you do have three absences with no questions asked. Now, uh, three and only three. So I keep a very uh, accurate record of role and I'll, if you come in late, you want to make sure and tell me and I'll give you a tardy rather than an absence, but you are allowed allotted three absences. Now I want to say this twice because it's very important and I have a lot of questions on this at the end of the year. Five points will be taken off your final grade. So when I add up the final tally of grades out of 100 points, if you had 100 in the class, you'd be knocked down to a 95 if you had four absences. You'd be marked down to a 90 if you had five. It's five points off for every additional absence after three absences. 
So it's a really tough attendance policy. Why would I be so tough on attendance? It's because we need listeners. A speech is much better if we have a full audience there to encourage and share energy and be there for the speaker. So I really encourage you to be there. And there's reward as well as a punishment. If you're there for every single class, I'll add five points to your final grade. So out of 100 points. So if you had an 80 in the class, then you would be bumped up to an 85. Uh, if you have perfect attendance on our Monday sessions. All right, so every teacher organizes their class differently. Some of you, I'm sure, work through chapter one the first week, and then you do chapter two the next week, and that's perfectly organized and good and clear, but for my class, it's a little different. I give you the chapters to prepare for the next speech. You can kind of think of speech class as almost like a lab. I give you the tools, I give you the skills, you turn around and use them. So that's kind of why I've arbitrarily picked, you know, chapter 14 is this first week. And I know some of you are on a learning curve when it comes to PowerPoint, so that's why I start at very first thing, getting you comfortable with the uh, presentation software. That's a big word there. Synchronous. Synchronous means things we do at the same time. We do in sync, to quote a 90s band, in sync. So we're all in it together, we're all doing the same thing at the same time, and obviously the classroom speeches will be somewhat synchronous. Everybody will give their humorous anecdotes on the first day. Now I say somewhat synchronous because if some of you want to be ambitious and do your speeches early, then I will certainly accept them, but especially at the beginning of the class, we'll all be doing tribute speeches together and so on and so forth. Um, the classroom speeches are at 925 on Mondays. We're all together, we're all doing the same thing at the same time. The final exam will be proctored by me in person on the final exam date that's on your schedule there, the weekly schedule. And we will not be taking that online. I know your quizzes will be online, but the final exam is a in-person proctored exam. So be aware and keep that date on your calendar because that is 30 questions, multiple choice, but it is an important aspect and you'll see a weighted aspect of your grade. Very weighted, it's a big part of your grade. It's how well you come up with those terms. So what parts of the speech class are at your own pace? You're out of sync with us. You can do it as you can. I know that some of you work third shift. Some of you are really, you know, taking care of kids and you have to do things as slow as you can. But others of you may want to front load this class. You may want to finish all of the textbook work in the month of January and free up your schedule for all of the other hard classes that you have this semester. Or maybe you just want to get it out of the way. Do all those quizzes this month and be done. Now notice that the modules have before such and such date. So after that date, the quiz is no longer available. So in some ways it's not asynchronous because you still have to get it done by my timeline. I still give you weekly deadlines. All of your deadlines are Sunday night at 11.59 p.m. So make sure you're keeping up with your deadlines and you have those on your planner, in your iPhone. You have weekly reminders for yourself. However, you can keep it organized and remind yourself. It's good. So you can take those quizzes. Now they're under assessment. You can take those quizzes at any time. You only get one shot. 20 minutes, answer those quizzes to the best of your ability. Um, and then also you can complete the other aspects of the module. You can um, discuss in the discussion room at your own leisure. You can watch those videos from other chapters at your own leisure. So, um, you know, I've recorded them, I've posted them on YouTube, they're there for you. You can do them as you can. You can do them at 3 o'clock in the morning uh, because you're a night owl, or you can get up at 9.25 like we do for class on Wednesday. I would challenge you to at least carve out a time, particularly those of you who have family who may disrupt you, right? We are a Monday class, but then that Wednesday, if you don't have a class that day at 9.25, you may want to just sit down on, on that day and ask yourself, what am I doing? What do I need to get done today for speech class? What do I need to get done this week for speech class? Um, on top of your extra things, just to remind yourself that this is this is a whole lot of learning outside of class. Please don't always wait until Sunday night to get your work in. 
because it may end up being more work some modules than others. Some modules you may only have to watch a couple videos and finish the quiz. Other modules it may be more reading, it may be more involved, maybe discussion questions that you're missing out on during the week so please don't wait until that Sunday night. Um, in full disclosure I do have quite a few people who don't pass this class for one reason or another. Our hybrid classes have a very low completion rate and I would love for more than 50% of this class to pass. I would I would really appreciate that. I would really like that. So I hope that you're in it to win it and you're here with me for the hybrid special. Okay, this is a perhaps a new term for some of you. It's the QEP. Here at Motlow on all four campuses we're concerned with the QEP. That's a state mandated program to make sure that you are getting the best quality possible from us. It's a state mandated program. So this year, um, over the last few years, we've had internationalizing the curriculum. Fancy sounding, isn't it? It just means that you are looking at things from a global perspective. So particularly for my class, you'll be listening to a speech by a foreign person or about a foreign issue. So JFK's space race speech or Mother Teresa um, when she talks about abortion or Princess Diana when she talks about eating disorders or um, Hitler when he talks about uh, the Third the Reich. There are different speeches. You each will have an assigned speech that you have to research. Uh, we'll call dibs on those, the second class, maybe even the first one if we have time. So um, we'll talk more about the international module. But there's two components to that. You have to research that person, research who was Hitler, what was he saying, and what effect did he have on Germany and the rest of the world. Um, you'll research those three components, the man, the culture, and the after effect or the impact. And um, then you will write a paper of it, write a paper with that research, and then you'll present that paper through a six to eight minute speech, the informative speech. So I just wanted to heads up on that. If you're not comfortable with research, if you haven't spent a lot of time in a library, if this is your first semester in English 1010, um, you're going to need a little extra time on that. There's a learning curve on that. So please uh, be proactive. Start thinking ahead. Don't let it intimidate you into dropping the course um, because it's going to make you a more literate person, which is something that I value deeply. So hoping that you feel confident writing that research paper and presenting it for us. All right, that's all I got. Uh, thanks for listening, and I will see you soon. If you would like to come by my office and meet me, I'm in Office 130. It is across from the Coke machines. There's a little door there across from the Coke machines. If you go in that door, I'm the first office there. I share it with Manita Grimes. So I'd love to meet you. Introduce yourself. Let me know that you're in the hybrid class so I can put a name with a face. Now, I will check attendance by the fact that you've logged in and dis posted something on the discussion board. If you haven't posted anything on that discussion board, you could be um, penalized in that you may not get your financial aid check because that you haven't shown up for online class. So we can't legally say that you've attended until you've checked in. So that's important in keeping us all honest. So please take a moment, log into D2L, post your two truths and a lie so that I can count you present and here. Welcome to Speech Hybrid. I'm so glad you decided to take this class. I look forward to hearing you speak and helping you find your voice. Thank you for listening.